Hey, welcome. I wanted to just do a quick video to talk about placement of your hands in plank pose and side plank pose. So kind of focusing on side plank pose in a lot of my classes this month. I just wanted to give a quick chat about where your hand goes in those postures. Basically, shoulders, pretty vulnerable joint. Um, lots of mobility, a little less stability. So when we're holding in a plank or a side plank, we want to make sure that we have our shoulders in the most stable position. Essentially, there are three positions where our shoulders are the most stable. One is with your arms down at the side, a zero degree angle in the shoulder joint. Another stable position is when your hands are, hands are straight overhead. So shoulders are extended 180 degrees. So this would be like a handstand. Third, final, is when your shoulders are at 90 degrees. So either straight out in front of you, plank pose, or straight out to the side, side plank pose. The thing about plank and side plank is that your hands aren't necessarily gonna go right under the shoulder to keep the 90 degree bend here or here. So when you come into plank pose, you can start in tabletop, bring your feet back so that you're in plank. But you notice if your wrists are right under the shoulders, that it's actually less than 90 degrees here. So we fix this by just bringing the hands a little further forward so that we have a 90 degree bend basically in the armpits. Most stable position for plank. Same idea for side plank. We'll start with a variation with the knees down, but if hands right under the shoulders, and I lift up, this is actually an acute angle, it's less than 90 degrees. So how do we fix that? How do we put our shoulder in the most stable position? Come back to tabletop, bring the hand about one hand assistant forward, and come back up. 90 degree bend here. And then you just can lift the bottom leg, come into your full side plank variation, stable position for the shoulder joint, elbow crease spaces of the front thumb, and then find that feeling of external rotation, imagining that you're opening a jar to the left. My left hand is down, extend your right arm. From here, any variation of the legs, lift it, grab your ankle, whatever, it doesn't matter. Come back and come down. So play around with this in your practice. Try moving your hands maybe just one hand's distance further forward in plank and side plank and see if you notice that feeling of additional stability in your shoulder joints.